was said. This is not a transparent organization at all. Our website is not transparent. There's not documents there. The reason people, you know, you can say all you'd like that these people get all these uh, public records requests, but they're being forced into it. I mean, as you know, Mr. Keezer, when things get a little hot, I tend to start getting copied on the emails. And some of the things I've seen who have been told to make public records requests are not public records requests. They're requests for comment. And they have to make public records requests. It's ridiculous. And it Absolutely. seems like the only reason to do it is so you can come in here and tell us we have 1,127 public records requests. Yeah. So if everything becomes a public records request, every question that's asked, but, you know, and I agree. And, and then it becomes a battle. So I agree. Maybe there are more than needs to be. I'm not saying I disagree with that, but I agree with who somebody said, Janet, I think said earlier, you know, I, unfortunately, I too get more information about what's going on in the city of Framingham from the Framingham source than I do from you or the mayor or anybody else. And that is disappointing. Same with the records I mentioned earlier. There's a, there a FOIA request for emails from, I don't even know who it was from, but they were sent around. I don't even know if they came from us. I think they might've come from the state actually. But uh, somebody requested all the emails from Framingham to the state because they weren't getting them here. So they figured they'd get them from the state. Maybe it was Frank Wood. So that you think it's a collaborative of people who, uh, I don't know, I have not met Mr. Wood, but who knows, you know? Um, who he is, and I don't really care who he is, to be honest with you. Um, but those emails from the state seem, once again, you would be guys are being a lot more forthright and open with the state than you were with the city council. Yeah, I mean, and that's I, a problem. I, no, that was an appeal process, and and, and I, don't, I don't know if that's accurate characterization. What are you talking so, about? It was an appeal process. I'm, so I, I, I'm not sure what you're referring to then. There were so. DOR letters that were right. going back between Mary Ellen and DOR released on Facebook last weekend. There's a substantial amount of them, several comments about different things that we were told, you know, about rate increases and, and things like that, that were discussed with DOR. And we were told you guys didn't know how much the rate increase is going to be. At the same time, you tell DOR what your rate increase plan is for the enterprise fund. So that's not transparency. When, when So if I'm getting information on Facebook and and, you know, and any of us, not just me, I'm just speaking for myself. If I'm getting information on Facebook and uh, from the framing of source, we have a problem. I mean, it was late as this morning, Mr. Keith, that you and I are having a meeting waiting for the mayor and you told me she's on a phone call and I'm reading the framing of source and then realize she's holding a press conference somewhere else. I mean, that's, you know, it's, yep. it seems Mayor's odd. Schedules. So I have What's a that? question. What's yeah, that? I mean, mayor's schedules change. Uh, that, right, that no one can tell me. It was in the newspaper, but no one can say, yeah. George, you have an 11 o'clock meeting. Yeah, I, the yeah, I wasn't. Because he's at I think, the press conference. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I I, didn't know what our schedule was. So right. um, I mean, that's a problem, too, I guess. But 